Hello and welcome to Nashville Fairgrounds. We are in the SK Modified for the third time in my iRacing lifetime, I guess you could say. Um, for the first time with this specific combo. Um, and uh, like I was saying to Chad here, uh, good luck to Chad. And I also said it feels like an intermediate track. Um, you're kind of just doing light lifting, it feels like, or at least the way I'm driving it. And it's just because this thing doesn't have too much power, and, uh, and uh, you get the higher banking here at Nashville Fairgrounds as well. And I feel like that's uh, really making it to where you're on the throttle a whole lot. Could make it difficult to pass. Green, green, green. We'll see. Okay, I think uh, the track the could be a little bit different now that it's nighttime. We'll see how that feels. That's a new fastest lap for Gaia. All right, probably could have drove driven in there a little bit harder. One more lap. All right, 304 is pretty much where I was lap in was practice. I took a slightly wider entry. I probably should have been doing that the whole time because that was slightly better. All right. But I don't think I'm going to gain much. Looks like one spot from where I was before. Right now, P3. Hey, that's not too bad at all, actually. Um, we've got ourselves a 3.2K strength of field. Uh, it is Monday night. And 3.2K is pretty darn good. So, um, it looks like I have to finish top three to get a gain in I rating but a top three would be fantastic for me in this car. Um, especially because the other races I think I've done in the SK, they weren't the highest strength of field. So this might be one of the tougher fields I've done so far, if not the toughest. And hopefully we'll be learning a little bit as we uh, go through this thing. I'm not sure if um, saving tire is going to be a thing. Like, should I be underdriving it a little bit early in order to protect the right front? I'm not sure. That might be the case, so maybe I should go a little bit easy on entry. But then again, am I going to just get running too from behind if I'm being the weirdo who's lifting too much? I don't know. Tough to say. Seems like you do want to keep it down near the bottom, though. Seems to be the way to be, so if uh, we end up side by side, we're going to be looking to try to get to the bottom as soon as possible. We've been dropped to fifth place, which is a good thing if we want to keep that bottom line. So we'll see where we end up, but I'm okay with that if that's where we start. It does feel like uh, it starts getting on the right front. So looks like we're almost ready to start. We've got uh, Mark in the three asking for the blue button. So there's probably just about everybody ready except for maybe one. Oh, it's Chad. Has Chad done his laps? It looks like he's doing his laps right now. Got a spotter in here, it looks like. Small field, 11 cars. I think that's about what uh, you normally get with this car. Smaller fields. It is only a D-Class series, if I'm not mistaken. So that's why there's no cautions and such. I'm just waiting on Chad. It's weird, he did his first lap and then parts. He might not realize he needed to hit the blue button still. He might have did his first lap and was just content with that and then stopped. That's the answer. <laughs> There's your answer. <laughs> we ask the question, you can't be upset when you get the answer. <laughs> uh, okay, so P5 is where we're starting. Not too long of a wait. That's nice. And we'll get onto track. Only 35 laps, so that makes me feel like maybe protecting the tire isn't going to be that big of a deal, because I think it's going to be really hard to pass. So I think we're going to really try hard early to get to that inside. See if we can pass any of these guys that are stuck on the outside. And then we're just going to stick to that bottom lane, and hopefully it'll be too hard for guys to get around us. We'll see. I'm acting. I'm talking like I know what I'm doing here. I don't, to be very clear. 35 laps. 
P5. But just speaking from what I'm hearing, on, everybody. from what others are saying, some experience with similar type yeah, races. Okay. Follow car number zero three in the inside column. Let's right, we'll see what we can do. I'm okay with a P5 starting spot though. Closed. Pit road is I'm definitely gonna take that. Top five finish would be great. Wow, lots of uh, oh my goodness, you guys are really warming their tires up. I was gonna hit the inside wall there for a second. Honestly, I found when my tires are cold, I actually got some turn out of the thing when I was doing qualifying. So I don't think I really even want my tires warmed up, to be honest. Am I goofy for saying that? I don't know. But uh, I'm just I'm up, I'm just gonna let my tires be. They'll get warm in a lap or two anyway. One to go. Next time by. I know I've heard some people say like, "Oh, they race in real life," and uh, they're just so used to doing the swerves on the pace laps that <laughs> they do it in iRacing. racing, just out of habit. Not sure if that's the case for anybody here, but heard that before. Weird starts and stops as we're pacing. About to go green. Stay focused. But we survived the pace laps. Here we go. I could not see it at all. Not the start I was wanting. Car outside. Outside is clear. All right, we are already single file. Oh, never mind. We got to move to the inside up there. Oh my gosh, he pushes out very wide though. They're making contact. That got scary for a minor second. I'd love to get up there and see if I could take advantage of their too wide, but the guy head's not really going anywhere, so we're gonna go to his inside. Stay low. Still there. Hold your line, E6. He's going to hang on to us. Hopefully we can get this done as soon as possible. There. Wow. They are bouncing off of each other up ahead. Love to get this done. He's just going to hold on, though. And we're gonna continue losing space up ahead. Kind of missed my angle there. Don't want to hit the apron. Unfortunately, that's gonna allow him to clear us. So no passing to be done here. Most already regretting having spent that time trying to make that pass and failing because I imagine that was just that lap was our using up tire. That's your lap. Although that was our quickest lap allegedly, so I guess that makes sense if we're it's one of the few laps we've done single file so far. Sixth place right now. Don't know how we're gonna gain. Uh oh, Low car up that's how we're gonna gain road. anything. Car outside. You're on the bottom. Three wide. Clear. The next car's the leader. I did not expect that guy to get loose on the apron. That was very close to disaster. But I guess that's how you make up spots. Sorry about that, there, five. Didn't see there. Well, that was very close to being very bad. <laughs> but we make it out of it okay, I guess. We got Chad behind us, so we might not be holding on to this fourth place for very long. He knows his way around the modifieds, that's for sure. Got these guys up ahead. We're going to try to catch, but... I think we're going to need them to fight each other if we want any shot at that.
You have to decide if I like doing that more shallow entry and the bigger lift, or if I like doing a more just light lift, kind of going more smoother through the corner. I feel like I'm getting mixed results with each. A little blinking from the leader there, maybe. That's interesting. I don't know if we're going to be able to catch these guys up ahead after losing the time we did. Gonna hit some uh, consistent laps if I can though and see what happens. That was uh, 18.4. Trying not to overdrive the exits. I think that's a way to lose some time. If you uh, get on the throttle too hard too early and you don't exit as low as you can or could. Here we go with that shallow entry. That was actually a little bit faster there, so we're going to try that again, I think. Hmm. That time's slower in 1 and 2 using that method. Getting mixed results, I feel like. Oh, almost pushed up into the wall there. That's not what I want. Is leading the race. Chad's not far behind. He's got those three tenths, and that's it to make up on us. And the leader, is he blinking out? Is he out of the race? He's been gone. Okay, though, there he is. I thought for a second he completely disconnected. Oh my gosh, I almost pushed up into the wall again. Oh, now third place. Looking to disappear. Okay, he's back. <laughs> some connection issues for some guys. Chad's getting closer. There's 15 to go. Wonder if we're going to find out I should have been tire saving. Nothing too big yet that we're dealing with, but he is catching us. Slowly but surely. That was a 18.5. Okay, Colter, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Okay, doing a little bit more of those shallow entries, harder shallow entries. That worked a little bit, I think. Alright, we're keeping it low. I feel like we're getting a slightly better lap time, but he's still coming at us, I feel like. Very close to the apron, that would be very bad if we hit it, so... You gotta be careful not to do that. But that is the fast way around, I feel like, being right down next to that yellow line. Slightly gaining on the 11, maybe. Not sure if we're going to get there in time, but I think I've noticed that number get lower on the relative. It's going to be very hard for Chad to pass us. As long as we keep this bottom line, I imagine. And it's getting a little tight for us, though. I think maybe he's almost got to run out of the exit of the corner there. Ooh, that was a good corner. Okay. I'm almost feeling like I'm getting a little bit more 
turn all of a sudden. That last lap was at 18.6. Which is good, right when I need it, I think. And focus on getting the run out of the corner. A little bit of apron for the 11 ahead, it looked like. Got six to go. Pulled away from Chad a little bit. Feels like late round this shallow hard entry might be the way to go. Get some good rotation right when you kind of get into the corner. Less than optimal, Creature said. I'm fourth place. I'm very happy with that, actually. In the SK. On a strong strength of field. Yes, I will absolutely take that. Only four to go. Don't think I'm going to catch this 11, much less be able to pass him. But I'm happy that I've made progress. It might just be that I'm not overdriving as much now, but I almost feel like it's uh, rotating better now late in the run. I mean, you can see how much better turns 1 and 2 were right there. It's not a development I expected. Two more. Let's go. Especially because I felt like I was killing the right front this whole race. Coming to the white flag. Got the white flag. That means there it is. It looks go. like the two. Their internet's gonna hold on, and they should be able to get the win. And we will probably finish up here in fourth. Just a couple corners to go. There's three, and there's four. All right, I'll definitely take it. P4. Sweet. We'll lose I rating, but that is better than I expected to finish here. Okay, that's the down. The next time, don't mirror drive. Whoa! Good job. Very good job. <laughs> They're uh, playing you, magician games here. All the time. Good hey, race, Dan, good I was winning. Hard. I wasn't going to come across your nose. I was going to try to. Alright, so 91 93 were the tires. Alright. I definitely thought it was going to be worse on the right front, but we were on the right front at the end of the day. We'll get P4, Chad right behind us, rounding out the top five. And let's jump right into the incidents to see what happened out here. We had a little bit stu of stuff happening early on, but not much after that, I don't think. It kind of calmed Carter, down. What the hell are you doing? All right, so lap eight. The two. Uh, was he there? Was he on the inside? It's a late move. Um, I'm thinking uh, that's a bit of a late move. But he goes for it and wrecks the seven. Hard to say I, without being in the car, although it looks like he was pretty far back. The seven probably... Uh, could have entered a little lower to help prevent that because it seems like he just took a really wide entry anyway which is an odd decision with the guy right behind you but I don't know I just I'm gonna have to say I don't know enough about short track racing to call that one I think you can make an argument for both sides probably but I will go ahead and say I don't know on that one so, after the guy, the sevens pushed up the track, the five a little bit low. And then uh, I don't expect him to hit the apron, so he slows down, and I'm like, oh gosh, gotta get out of the way. Six just gets into the back of the five. We've got the stampede coming. That's kind of unfortunately just a product of caution free racing. Though I don't think this would have been a caution anyway. 
even if there were yellow flags, because no one's sideways until all the way to right here. And even then, he might not have been sideways enough. Thankfully, we're able to avoid it. I react to the five just in time, getting low down the track as the uh, five comes up and gets into the seven. Did I run into the back of him? I don't think I even got a zero X. He, it almost reacts like he does, but he might have just been on the apron still. I don't think I got him. Maybe a net code thing, but I don't know. I certainly wasn't trying to. doesn't benefit any of us for me to run in the back of him, so it's definitely trying to go below him. And unfortunately, everybody just kind of comes and gets him. And they are continuing on from there. The two is going to do some blinking. We saw that up ahead. Just going to assume that's some more blinking. We got the 10. Doing a little bit of his own. And the 6 going to get the wall pretty hard. Lap 19. And that looks like all we're going to see. So uh, after the one little uh, accident, it cleared up. And we were able to get a P4, but mostly just because we were able to get by some guys from uh, the big stack up. But any, either way, I'll take it, even though we will lose I rating here, I think. You know, looking at the race results, 32-34 strength of field and a 4th place finish, but still losing about 12 I rating. Still not bad. 125 championship points and uh, a top 5 finish. I'm definitely okay with that. I'll definitely take it in the SKs and uh, finish ahead of a guy that I know who knows what he's doing in Chad there, uh, getting P5. So I'm happy with how that went, even if iRacing and its iRating system is not. <laughs> but uh, that will do it. You can see my, my fastest lap time was just kind of not quite as good as the the fastest guys in fact most of the field was just about a tenth off so that's interesting I have to learn how to pick up the pace just a little bit but that will do it for now thank you for watching that was SK Modifieds at Nashville Fairgrounds hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one have a good one